How are we on a heck of a day today? Two slams. You're a smart one, Jeff. What so, else do we got? Started out a little bleak. Minfish traps were empty. Thought we were going down Zip hard. On. Picked up a big school of pilchards, saved the day. Ended up with nine reds, nine or ten snook, a couple of trout for the slams. The rods were bent all day. Good day on the water. That was a heck of a day. We kept a redfish. My beer tastes a little bit like redfish thanks to the way you put it in the cooler. Yeah. That was awesome. We're going to do redfish over a creamy pasta. Check that out at the end. Catch and cook to come. Let's go! All right, the tide's moving in. So we got to get in there deep. <laughs> Nothing to see. Nothing to see here. <laughs> So we're gonna take this pilchard, and right in front of the nose, there's a piece of cartilage there. You feed that through and then he'll hold on that. So we're gonna take this bad boy. We're just gonna pitch him up tight, like that. Uh -huh. We'll sit in Rodney for a minute. Rodney's your best friend with circle hooks. Look at that, look at that. Right away. Immediately. There we go. That freaking redfish ate that while I was reeling it in, David. Really? Are... <laughs> Picked him up on the retrieve. Start the day out. Nice. Hello, sexy. How many spots you got? One and one. All right, this is a redfish spot. Just try to look sexier. <laughs> oh yeah, a little red. Look at the blue tail on him, that's beautiful. Yeah! Boom! When you go to hold it, so like that. that and then behind, so you don't see it. Actually, you're right here. Right so don't bet me this. We got a little blue crab. Normally on a big one, you'd chop them in half and use a half, but this way, we're gonna come in right behind the pincher, behind that little swimmer at the hook barb, and we're gonna pop it out just like this, and then let that go work. Those redfish have blue tails because they're eating crabs, so in the spirit of matching the hatch, we're gonna see what we can get done here. Bullseye. That looks good. Step one's the cast. Step two is put it in Rodney. Step three, hook and fish. Yeah, I'm gonna get a chum bat ready. The lack of attention should help. Oh, you're on. You're on. <laughs> oh, this is quite a bite. Wow. There's the other reds there too. I saw another one flashing at it like. Give him the sun there. Okay. I'm going to pick him up on the back corner in the sun because okay. you can see the blue on the tail is way mm -hmm. nicer. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful fish. fish. Beautiful blue tail on him. Somebody's been eating crabs. Beauty. Nice work, Jeff. Southwest Florida Magic. There you go. There you go. You got him. Oh, it's a bigger one. Keep your eye tip down. He's a little bit bigger. Snook. All right. I'm on the other one. We're going to get you a slam today. Hold on with that net. I'm going to need your help with it in a second. Freaking red factory right now. Hey, we might want to mark this spot. <laughs> yeah, that is baby. a sexy net. Could get some little nose hook pilcher. Get them in tight. <laughs> Jeff just threw it in the sweet spot. I'm not very good there, but we'll see what it does. Nice. Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. No. Hey, a runs. Oh, just here we a go. Trout short of a slam, huh? Yeah. Why would you have a first name starts with the same letter? <laughs> There's no J Jeffs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did it. Jeez. For Oh. Somebody's got a heater going over here. Get about the curveball, Ricky. Get my heater. 
Well, oh, hurry up. I'm, I'm hooking up here. We're going to double up again. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Another red. So Aaron accidentally threw my rod out, and he's a lefty, so he handed it to me, and there was a snook on there. And this is going to be a slam, boys. And a jail of Dave. Slam! Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, no problem. Now, my trout was only 11 and a half inches. I'm going to cut that out, though. I'm, I'm the editor of this video. We'll work on the upgrade. All right, that's one slam. Yeah. Little tiger. All right, we found some fish at this spot, but we got to go find some trout to complete some slams. Trout fishing. Don't don't sound so excited, guys. We're going trout fishing. Finish the slam, baby. Finish Woo! the slam. <laughs> Ricky Bobby's excited. Yeah. Ricky Bobby. Relax, let the game come to you. Ready? Slammer! Nice job, Aaron. Whoo, she's a monster. A gator. 13 incher. Let her go. Cutie pie. So before Hurricane Ian, this was an island. Not a day worthy of a canal beer. Today we have the Hawaiian Lion. Coconut coffee porter. We call it a beer. Let's give it a crack. Pen texture is good. Sounds good. Cheers. Nice work guiding us. Ooh. That's rich. It is. It's, I don't, it's not bad. Hawaiian life. No, it's not offensive. Big Top Brewing Company out of Sarasota, Florida. 7.5%. I think Bentley would approve. A couple of those, you won't feel any pain. No. Let's get this party started. I'm hungry. We're gonna start with the cocktail. This cocktail has two parts. And that's how we roll here on Canal Life. Just a simple buffalo trace, nothing too crazy. Here's our starting lineup. I'm gonna go a little bit crazy and surprise people with some white truffle sauce in the Alfredo. That'll be interesting. I'm gonna be using Swamp Venom today. This is made by Drizzy Pig. It's a brand that I'm really loyal to. All right, let's turn this into a meal. Let's get chopping. Okay, let's get on with the star of the show, redfish. All right, let's hit it with the swamp venom. This has salt in it. If you saw my last video, I mentioned my doctor doesn't want me eating salt, but he didn't comment, so I feel like I'm safe. Okay, let's fire the sauce up. This is a real basic Alfredo. I'll put the recipe in the description. All right, let's add the veg. Well, that's working for me. I'm gonna add in some garlic. I just wanna wake that garlic up. Because we'll get that water going for the noodles. All right, we're gonna throw in the, the heavy cream. Oh, we're making a mess. Holy smokes. It won't show the lady of the house. Nothing happened, we're all good. Rip some pepper in there. You know, I think this calls for a little little crushed red pepper. I'm feeling spicy. I had that two-part cocktail earlier. A couple dabs. All right, we're just going to warm this up. Then I'm going to throw the parm in. That'll thicken it up, bring it all together. And I'm really not too worried if it gets too thick because I'm going to have pasta water right there that I can add to it. And that'll bring it all around. So that's, that's looking good. I wonder if I should have added one more part to that cocktail being water as I'm spilling a little bit here and there. Or maybe I should have another one. That's probably what I should do. Well, see, a watch pot never boils. So I walked away, went to the bar. Little Willers. When I crack that open. Oh, yeah. Bottle texture is good. Little, little Wellers. Can't have too much. We got company coming tonight. Anyway, cheers. Oh, that's good. Can't get too distracted from cooking. Got my water boiling. I'm going to make a lot today. I'm going fishing tomorrow, and I don't want my, uh, my princess to go hungry. That's been salted. We're doing the whole package. Normally don't do it this way because it's just the two of us. What the hell? All right, let's rock these for 10 minutes. All right, 
make sure you stir them a little bit when you toss them in there. You can have a, a gluten mess. You can always back down the heat when she starts going bonkers. There we go. I think we're settled in. All right, setting the timer. I'm going to call it nine minutes. I could just listen to the 10 minute version of Taylor Swift's all too well. Mm. This Wetlers is delish. All right, my noodles are getting close. I'm going to finish the sauce. We're going to hit it with the Parmesan. So I shredded this Parmesan. The recipe called for two cups. Any recipe that calls for Parmesan, I just double it. I don't know if this is four cups. It's definitely more than two cups though. I love Parmesan, king of cheeses. You ever had too much Parmesan? I got an answer. No, you never have. Not possible. This is gonna really thicken this up. Whoa, that looks good. Look at how that just brought that together. I'm not gonna put that truffle in until the very end because I don't want it to cook out. It's real delicate. And I'm telling you, that is umami bomb. To a Minnesotan, that's like Lowry seasoning salt. People are like, what is it? You're like, well, wow, that's a little truffle sauce I bought. All right, everything's getting close here. I'm gonna add my tomatoes. The reason I didn't put these in right away is I want them to keep their texture. I want them to have a bite, a pop. And so I'm gonna add them in now and just let them warm up in the sauce. Let's get this going. Time for the fish. Safflower oil, says high heat, critical for cast iron pan. I'm gonna blacken this, I'm gonna use a little bit. It's time for the star of the show, the red fish. You wanna let it sit in contact with the cast iron. We're gonna do one at a time so that they don't crowd the pan. Secret ingredient, the white truffle. They're never gonna know what hit them. Boom, two times. <laughs> Why do it once when you can do it twice? The secret sauce. People think you're a good cook? No, you just have good ingredients. All right, let's serve it up. All right, let's plate up. All right, we got the redfish going on. We'll finish with a little parsley. Boom, that's the finished product right there. First time trying redfish. You got vegetables on your plate and everything. You're like a big boy. <laughs> what is that, truffle? Busted. Come on, you, no way.